Hello everybody, I'm Blazing Rebecca and welcome back to Oceanic Hearts and uh, we have to be making a choice about a supposed party, a music festival or a public garden. Concerned the way it's been going with like the Cora route, it looks like that has to do with flowers. So I say a public garden. Mother smiles softly when she hears that, but I'm not sure why. I think that's a fine idea. I shall go to the council of your decision. You may go back to your business, Marina. Before I can stop her, Mother leaves me. She's been leaving me to my own devices a lot lately. I think it's because she doesn't want to interfere with my choosing a wife. Or maybe she doesn't want me to hide behind her the whole time. With a sigh, I keep on swimming. Oh yeah, because we're underwater. Reaching my room, I curl up on the bed and stare out the window. Yeah, well, it's like we're underwater. We swim. We don't walk. Tomorrow evening... I have to choose one. I have a strong idea of who I want to marry, but I just wish I had more time. And I hope she accepts me. With that final thought, my eyes close and I fall into a dreamless sleep. This time I do wake up and make it to breakfast on time. I had better. This is the last day for Cor and Delphine to be here. Even if I can only choose one. I want to at least have a meal with the two of them. Corn and Delphine are as usual as ever, casual as ever, chatting it up with me. I wonder if they're as stressed as I am. Nah, probably not. They're not the ones with such a tight deadline. They're not the ones who have to make a choice. I should just relax. Yeah, just relax and have my meal. Besides, it's not like the other girl can't visit once in a while, right? Hmm. Right. Breakfast ends and I spend a little time in my room laying it digest. But now I should probably go and spend time with someone before the evening. It might be the last time after all. But where shall I go? Hmm. Well, the garden, obviously. Just like the first day, I venture to the gardens. I look around and swim in, and just like the first time, I see Cora sitting there, idly stroking the flowers in front of her. This time, though, she's not making a crown. She looks up as I approach, a smile on her lips. Marina, hey! Hey. What are you doing out here? I was thinking of making a flower crown. Ah, she was thinking about it. But, <laughs> my heart's not exactly in it today. Even yeah, so, I just wanted to spend some time in the garden one last time. One last... Oh. Right, last day. Wait, does this mean she doesn't think I'll choose her? Hmm, you know, I had a lot of fun here. Eh? Me and you, spending time with you, even just having a meal was cool. And you had this awesome ga garden out here. I got to make flower crowns again and teach someone else to do that. When it's time to go home, I'm gonna miss you, you know that? Me? Not the garden? Yes, you silly! You're sweetheart and cute and fun to be with. I'll have to see if I can visit you after you're married. <laughs> I have a feeling that's not gonna be an issue. <laughs> she really doesn't think I'll to choose her. Or is she just trying to be humble? Hey. Huh? Promise me something? Uh, sure. Even if we never see each other again, put the Cora Fleur in your garden someday. That's the flower they're naming after me. <laughs> oh! Uh, oh, um... Yeah. Yeah, I promise. Cora smiles softens a little as she looks at me. She raises a hand as if she wants to touch my shoulder or something. But then she just lowers it again and looks back to the flowers. You you be happy, Marina, okay? Oh, she's... No! Why is she crying? I will. We don't move after that. We sit there shoulder to shoulder, allowing the scent of flowers to wash over us, enveloping us in perfume. Why is there perfume all of a sudden? Okay. Soon it is evening. I send a servant to summon my future wife and I swim to the throne room. 
Mother is not there. This is to be between myself and... and... her. Very descriptive! I hear the sound of the curtain parting and stand up straighter, trying to get my racing heart under control. Is there coral in my mouth? It feels like there is coral in my mouth. Did I brush my teeth well enough? Uh, uh. Do I look? The curtain parts. Huh? Yep! Marina? H Hi, Cora. Hi, um, what's up? Did you want to say goodbye to me? N no. No, it's not. It's not that. Huh? Then what is it? <laughs> you really can't imagine it. Imagine what? Really, Cora? <laughs> I love you, Cora. I want to marry you. Huh? Cora stands there, still as a statue, mouth slightly open, staring at me in shock and disbelief. Oh, well, uh, aren't you gonna say something? D do Do you not want want to marry? No. No, I mean, uh, j oh, jeez. Yes, I absolutely. Ah! I do, Marina. Her strong but gentle hands take mine and she leans in close. I really do. The ceremony has held a week later. Perhaps it is a bit quick, but then again... The court this courtship was quick, too, was it not? Cora makes flowers for us to wear and creates a bunch more for table decorations. She tried to make more, but I stopped her before she could crown the entire garden. <laughs> oh, jeez, Cora. Ah. Uh, Cora, your mouth has cake crumbs on it. Cassandra had the first meal I offered you. Cora, please. <laughs> I, really, I... <laughs> oh, my lips taste like sugar now. Oh, please, Marina. Meals will be like sugar no matter what. Ah, That's why your kisses are so sweet. D don't say such embarrassing things for so many people could hear. Let them hear me. I don't care. Just shows how much I think of my wife. The crowd cheers and throws flowers over us by barely notice. I'm too drunk with happiness and excitement. Aww. Her hands found mine and our fingers twined together. Ah, I love you, Marina. I'll love you forever. And that was the Cora route. I think I'm also gonna go with the also gonna go with the Delphine route, so let's see how well that goes. But I will see you and whatever I record, I'll be seeing you there. See ya!